In the rugged canyons of America's last frontier, modern explorers search for signs of ancient history. Covering nearly two million acres of southern Utah and northern Arizona, Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument is attracting attention. Recent discoveries here date back 80 million years. What you're looking at here is probably a tibia. Scott Richardson spends half the year roaming the Kaiparowitz Plateau searching for dinosaurs. Over the past three years, he has discovered two new species of dinosaurs in the Grand Staircase Monument. These new species are creating new arguments about prehistoric Earth. It's begging the question of why did two groups of dinosaurs evolve separately? Uh, what cut off the migration routes that uh, led to their developing differently? On the opposite side of Grand Staircase, near Escalante, Utah, a team from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science is educating school children in Denver live via satellite. We're actually experts in fossil plants. Ask them if they could hear him. They share with students discoveries that haven't seen the light of day since the Cretaceous period when giants roamed the planet. This is the only place in North America where the entire, almost the entire part of the late Cretaceous is exposed and continuous. So you have all that time uh, represented by the rock exposed in a single spot. Along with tourists and nature lovers, Grand Staircase Escalante is attracting the attention of the scientific world. Its status as a national conservation area guarantees a bright future of exploration for scientists. The potential is, is unlimited. There is so much to look at and so little time and so few people looking at it that it's going to keep paleontologists busy for 100 years. This is a huge 1.9 million acre laboratory. Everything from paleontology, ethnology, biology, historical resources, archaeology. It is a huge place um, with untapped resources all over the place. Deep canyons and breathtaking vistas captivated Grand Staircase, but for some, the experience of this place is even more profound. It's a real love affair for me. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's scientifically important. It's uh, still in the early phases of being discovered by the public. I think the world of this place. For Assignment Earth, I'm Bruce Burkhart.